Hey guys, Barbara here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make these wonderful chicken pot pies. So I'm starting off by dicing some cold butter. The butter is straight from the fridge. This is a stick of butter. You can also grate the butter on a grater, but I didn't want to do that today because I did not want to have to clean the grater after. Jada's in the kitchen with me because she's getting ready for work and we're having a conversation while I drop my butter into the flour and start pinching it in. Let's listen to what we're talking about. Guess what? They said the weekend is gonna be 70. Ooh, time to get out the Mexican blankets. 70. I was talking to the drag queens about that. <laughs> and I was like, it's getting cold. And she's like, I know, I'm like, it's ready to get our our, our swap meat blankets out. He said, girl. He said, which one do you have? I'm like, I have the rose. And he goes, I have the horses. <laughs> Californians would understand and by the way if you're not from California stop saying Cali nobody in California says Cali okay yeah. nobody says Cali so if you don't want if you if you want to act like you know us just don't say Cali so and not all of us live in LA right guys not all of us live in LA the LA is just like one of the bigger cities in California so let me go ahead and get my pie dough going Jada is still behind me in the kitchen she wants me to make her some tuna salad so she can take the work with her so after I get my dough together I'm gonna go ahead and make some of that for her so this is pretty much ready right here this doesn't need a whole lot of kneading okay let me get some parchment paper to wrap this in because we're going to put it in the fridge for at least 15 minutes but possibly longer because it's going to remain in there the whole time I'm making the filling for the chicken pot pie. So see Jada's over there bugging me to make her stuff. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Okay so here's your salad baby. I just did onion, red, yellow, orange peppers diced up, mustard and mayo. I don't put salt and black pepper. Oh jalapeno. I don't put salt and black pepper. Jada's probably going to come and put cayenne and all kind of stuff but she can do that. No, I don't, I don't do anything to your tuna. Oh, you don't? Come on. Oh, okay. So don't play come on, you gotta go with your coat. The baby doesn't want to go. This is this okay, Josh. This is okay. a different type of a show. Okay. The baby doesn't want to go walk. See, Joshua knows the rules. <laughs> Wednesday has to go for her daily walk because we don't want her to gain back none of that weight she lost. You know, Wednesday went from 133 to 77. Right now, she's at 82. She put on some weight. And that's because the kids will feed her junk in between my meals that I give them morning and night. Or I never put on weight because Jory will run her six miles a day. Lord have mercy, poor baby. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some flour in here. I got a flour in the pan. Joshua doesn't know what we're making. Feel a little bit under the weather today too, guys. Like I can't regulate my temperature. I'm hot, then I'm cold. Well, not really cold, but chilly. Where I have to like turn the fan off, you know, that kind of way. But it's like for two minutes, then I'm okay again. So I have some onion and some jalapeno cut up here. And I grab my glass cutting board because I've heard you're not supposed to cut meat. Can you guys see this? You're not supposed to cut meat on wooden surfaces. I've already washed this chicken breast. It's a boneless, skinless breast. It's the kind that I like to use when I'm doing my little sweet and sour stuff. See? <laughs> show it, show it to the viewers. Show what daddy doing. I think they can see it. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> his, uh, we're not really laughing at him though, because his silences are acting up. No, but are you funny? Mm -hmm. From the other night, you, got, you were on the couch, uh -huh. passed out. Uh -huh. And Daddy, his, his chair, he was passed out. Passed <laughs> out. And I said, "Is there a gas leak? Is on the side? Dead, dead to the world." I get tired like around eight thirty, and I just have to like take a twenty minute nap. Cause I go all day. I told you I was gonna take today off and rest, cause I don't know how I feel so weird. Thank you, Even if my glands are swollen, I better not be getting nothing. You need to go lay down. I will as soon as I make my lunch. There's no one here to make my lunch. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy cooked some beef, but I didn't want this chicken to go bad, you know? Oh yeah, it's I, I been haven't in there a few seen days, that. huh? I said I haven't seen that in there for a while, so... Mm -hmm. It's that day that I did the um, sweet and sour chicken, probably Sunday? Sorry, it is kids. It's on Monday, yeah, huh? smell my lunch today. <laughs> Sorry kids, you're gonna smell my lunch today. They're probably gonna like it. Yeah, that's true. The kids are gonna smell her lunch today. 
you know. I'm just cutting the chicken small. So I heard that Haas face, Camilla, <laughs> showed some video or something or she showed a, a family picture of Harry and Megan and the kids. Girl, you're trying too much. Girl, any of those kids named Little Bit Camilla? No ho. Little Bit Diana. <laughs> Diana forever goodbye. I know. <laughs> Queen consort. She better call herself anything. She, she, she better go check into that alleged person. son. Did you see that thing about that alleged I son? I did see that. I'm, mm -hmm. I, I don't like conspiracy I'm, yeah, theories, but like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, I'm giving her the side eye. You guys go check that out. Camilla's son. Yeah. Carla's the one that told me about it. Oh, Carla said it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, she put you in stuff. <laughs> and I went to go check a whole documentary on it. And I like the man's wife. She's Aborigine. And she don't play. Okay? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna season the meat right in the same thing. Now you could make bland chicken pot pie if you want, but not me. We won't spice this up. Get this out the way. Wash my hands. This is back in the olden days. When I first started to do my show, this is what Joe's people would come to me about, his extended cousins and stuff. Oh, she didn't even wash her hand. She didn't even wash that meat. Girl, if I told you I washed it, I washed it. I don't have to show everything. People already know how we Caribbean people wash with food. Girl, bye. You see in the locker? Salt. You don't have to worry about undersalting this because you can taste the... um. What do you call this? Is it a soup? We make the pot pie. Then I want to put some cayenne. I like cayenne. Cayenne hot as hell, but I like cayenne. I don't like the um, red pepper flakes. It has a smell to me. So I'm not going to do it twice. I'm just going to do it once like that. Because, like I said, we're going to taste the stew or the filling before we go any further. So what I'm going to do is move you guys over to the stove with me. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. It's a little bit, see? That's just for flavor because the pan is non stick. And then I'm going to brown my meat first. I'm just gonna let this saute until it changes color on all the pieces. Then I'm gonna remove it from the pan and saute the onion. You can saute the onion first too. put chicken broth in this but why the chicken is releasing its own little bit of juices right you don't need to add all that water is fine cooking the onion a pad and look at this girl let this one out we don't even know if there's fly in here We almost always have tuna on hand, like this tuna salad. Because in a pinch we can make sandwiches for lunch, or we can eat chips back to the pot. Mix in all the onion and everything. Pour 
toss a little bit of water in here just so the chicken can, it's almost done cooking, but I want to make sure this cooks for a little bit. And then now, I'm going to grab my dough from the fridge. Remember the other day I cleaned up the fridge? It's a hot mess again. I think this is going to be enough to do the tops. <laughs> but we're going to get all six bottoms. We're going to taste it to see if it needs more salt and pepper. Don't ever taste your stuff by dipping in, tasting, and putting back the same spoon. Okay? That's gross. And you can say, well, I live alone. Who's going to come here and taste it? You can never tell. I always taste another thing like this. Mm. I think that's enough. It doesn't need no more pepper, no more salt. Toss this in here. Give it a stir. Hmm, so a lot of peas and carrots. <laughs> I should have checked. So a little bit of chicken. Put this cornstarch slurry in there. And maybe a tad more water. not looking bad at all. I'm going to leave a little bit more liquid. I don't want the pies to be too dry. And this is one of these recipes that I just kind of made up on my own. It just made sense. You know what I mean? I think this is good. Let's turn the fire off. Move you guys back over to the ranch. Let me get a this thing. Hold on. I don't put hot things on my new counter. Mm -mm. Put it right here. Get a soup spoon. You guys see? Well, you'll see when I put it in here, right? Remember, this is not a cooking show per se today. This is just follow Babs as she makes her lunch. What's that called? A day in the life? I was watching one of those van people that I watch, van life people, and one of them put up a, a short or a reel showing that they got arrested. It was a woman. Got arrested for living in her van. Her, her channel's name is Mother Nature. I really think I put too much peas and carrots in here, but it's gonna be all right. Okay, hold on. And I wonder, did the police go back in the van and get her phone for her? Or her camera, whatever she was filming with? Because it was filming from the dashboard. 
and they had her handcuffed and she said she was arrested for living in her van well she said it in the in the text right in the captions I don't know why I feel like her show is not real of course I have no evidence of that that's just my feeling my opinion okay get all this bit off of here now let's get a cookie cutter I buy a lot of random things that I can use you leave my baby alone Jada he worked hard he said he said I wasn't sleeping I was resting my eyes <laughs> That's what he likes to say. I got that from him. That's what I used to tell him so I wouldn't get kicked out of the bed. <laughs> Are you sleeping? I'm not sleeping. I'm or, not sleeping. You're like your grandmama. <laughs> she used to be that way too. Please let me have enough. I don't want to make any more dough. Well, that, that's just being a broke Belizean's fault, okay? Not having your own crib and have to sleep with mom and dad. Of course you're going to have that connection. That's not a broke Belizean. You had a whole room. And I dressers a crib and a bed. You didn't have no crib because after we bought a crib for Joshua, and then Jory see, used it. See who's see who's more important, yeah, Joshua. Listen, Jory. listen, 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 listen. Joshua was never in his crib. He was just in there to pose for pictures <laughs> for Facebook that didn't exist back in them days. And so we decided the hell with this. We are that kind of family where the baby sleeps in the bed. And I know that a lot of Americans don't like to do that. But then when the white people found out that that was best. Then they started to act like they discovered that. That's true. That's like child. This whole Caribbean people live. Because we broke and poor. Well, some people started because they were broke, but then they realized that that helps the baby from not getting crib debt. They said, I don't know for that to be true. Ooh, you have to be careful what you say nowadays. Let me make this one over. The baby came back from her walk already, guys. Baby, you look thinner. <laughs> I wish I could go on a walk like that and look thinner. Hey, man. Hey, man. Have a great day, mommy. Hey. Be careful. I look out for the idiots. Sometimes I feel like they're out more on Wednesdays. I might get pizza with Kyle later, but it's mine. Kyle come back already? Yeah, he's been back since Monday. Okay, but that's going to be on this side of town? Yeah. So you're going to let me know when you leave work? Yep. Okay. Bye. Bye, baby. Because nowadays people... Jada, did you see that thing where this girl was walking down there like Hollywood area and some homeless came with a with a garden tool, like a um, clippers or something? Shears. Uh -huh. What are shears? Yeah, the clippers. And, they, and he stabbed her in the head. I was like, wow. She's alive, but they said she has a traumatic brain injury. This one gave me trouble, guys wanting to shrink. Okay, let me get a little fork. And this is how we cook. The oven is already at 3.30. We have a lot of conversation. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I'm not the, the kind of YouTuber that will tell you, oh, I don't watch YouTubers. I remember one time B-Love's husband said that when there was some beef with YouTubers. I don't watch YouTubers like that. I'm like, okay. You're like these actors that don't watch TV or don't allow their kids to watch TV but they want us to watch them on TV. Girl bye. So I bought um what do you call it thing like a solar light to go over the garage because we have a light there now but it comes on at night and stays on all night. And I just really feel like that's running up my light bill. Oh, no. Jessica's on her way from Arkansas. She said that she stopped and slept at the border of Oklahoma and listen to this Josh mm. T-E-X hyphen A-S-S <laughs> that's how she spelled Texas uh, I, I assume it's not like <laughs> Josh I didn't know what I was telling and I started to laugh and she says I hate Texas I'm like me too you know we were gonna live there we only stayed a month because we couldn't find no jobs I hated the school. The, the teachers and stuff loved me in the school because I was smart. But I hated the school. What's going on? Oh, okay. Because it was indoor. 
I didn't like indoor class. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. All your classrooms are indoors, of course. But when you're going from class to class, there's no outdoor. You have to go just in this one big building from class to class, and the front doors are locked at the start of the day, open at the end of the day, and even when you go for lunch, the cafeteria is like all indoors, and there's no walking. You know, there's no walking outdoors to your next class. I didn't like that. So I'm gonna put this sucker to bait. I'm gonna time it for 40 minutes. <clears throat> That's another thing too when doing the show, I have to make sure when I put the stuff in the oven, I'm always like smiling because it's so hot and I go, then I have a, a RB, RBF, right? <laughs> what am I going to do with this? Rub it back up. Clear it up. Huh? Okay, let me clean up the mess though, all right? I'm going to clean up this mess so Joshua Cook can put some rice on for us. Everybody participates in this dinner making. We need, you have water? Hey. Stop in your thing for hey. a second. <laughs> you think he had Comenia when I try to finish my show, I start any air fryer. Not cool, man. All right, guys. Remember, if you like what I produce here today, go ahead and hit the like button. It's free to you and it gets us in the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and pick up a copy of my many books that I have for sale at my website, bearpantryshow.com. We're gonna bite, it's still hot. Mmm. 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 That's fine. Mmm. I have one problem with the chicken pot pie. Drunk. You're too small. <sighs> it's pretty big. <laughs> That's how good it is. You see, guys? See, this could be my thumbnail. I really hope you get a chance to make this dish. If you like this video, here's another one that you might like. This is the Beth Entry Show.